So, she's not on my party, so I can't do that. Uh, there she is. Not much. Looking for someone in the nap, I guess. So, uh, are you always here this time of day? Sometimes. Unless I'm napping somewhere else. They're okay. What else is there to do during school hours? Don't be ridiculous. There are plenty of things to do here, and you won't get to do some of them when you're older. For example, studying, joining clubs, hanging out with your friends, all sorts of stuff. I'm in a club. The gardening club, actually. Really? Nothing. You act, you act like you're my dad or something. Do you kick... Do you get a kick out of getting involved in other people's business? Harsh! I don't exactly hate it. You got Ninja Girl down there. Go talk to them. Patrick. No, it's not Patrick. Okay. Okay, we have some nobles being dicks. Oh, there's Angelica. You are adorable. The cinnamon bun must be protected. That's nice!
Who's that at the cafe? That's not... Who, who is that? Is that a bell? It's that cat again! Good kitty. Meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> it's like, when it's done, it's done. That's a cat for you, it's like, pet me, pet me, pet me, I'm done. Oh, it's Elliot and Gaius. Noble and another noble and commoner. Yeah. And these are commoners. That's kind of funny. get back to? Yeah, I was busy with club-related work until just now. I'm glad I ran into you, though. I heard from Elisa that you went into the old schoolhouse again? Yeah, and we made some pretty crazy discoveries while we were at it. We're going to need to keep investigating that place on a regular basis, I'd say. Well, I'd be more than happy to accompany you next time. I'd like that. The request was made to the whole of Class 7, after all, and I'd like to do everything I can to help. Really? That's very kind. Thank you. Maybe I should ask Fee next time, too. And Eusis and Machias while I'm at it. Huh? Fee would be a good choice at the very least. She's a ninja girl, I'm after sure all. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to accompany us. Or more than willing, anyway. As for Eusis and Machias, I'm sure a chance will present itself for them to make friends eventually. Maybe then? One can only hope. At the very least, they can grow to respect we really each other. Have to do something about those two already. Oh my, Reen! What happened to your right hand? Oh, this? A beautiful lady I ran into in town did it. Or at least I think she was a lady. Come again? A black cat with really glossy fur. I've never seen it around before. I assume it belongs to someone in town, since it was wearing a blue ribbon and a bell. I must have done something to offend it, though, because it got all grumpy out of nowhere and scratched me up pretty good. Yeah, that's cat for you. Pet me, pet me, pet me, pet me, pet me. I'm done. Scratch. I'm so sorry. What? Please, um, sit down on the sofa. Is I'll that... bring a first aid kit and dress that wound right away. I take it that's your cat. Thanks. Do you know it or something? Uh, no, not at all. I've just seen it around town a few times. Uh, anyway, I'll go get the first aid kit. Don't go anywhere. It's just a little scratch. I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it. I've never seen Emma get so flustered before. Mm. There we 
go. That should do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades, though. Or Machias's, for that matter. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so... Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. He didn't exactly lie. There's a lot about both Machias and Eusis that we don't know. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Let's go talk to Machias. Aben time is about to start anyway. The day is done and it's time to cast off your cares right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. We're now in the second half of May, and the greenery all over Erebonia is beginning to reach its peak. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy nature, and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike. Listeners in Heimdall have Modern Park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden. Though, for those willing to hop on a train, I heartily recommend a trip to Lunaria Nature Park. Administrative issues kept it closed for a while, but it finally reopened this month and it's worth making the trip. You can relax and take in the scenery of this vast, almost mystical forest, and then grab a cold beer on the way back. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend, can you? It's not Sarah, is it? Oops, with all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. Iced tea, perhaps? <laughs> anyway, let's see who sent us some mail today, shall we? This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard. I don't get to do some run around. Another practical exam, okay. I was kind of hoping to walk around the dorm and talk to them, talk to the friends for a bit. <laughs> this thing again. Green, Alyssa, Laura, Gaius. Hmm, I'm not sure. No one's talking to you. Keep that claymore. <laughs> Come on, then. Channel an enemy, cancel an enemy art. Go. My turn. They're open. Come on. It's my turn. Now, an opening. Of course. 
Huh? How would I do that? No. I got you. Go. Go. Here. It's my turn. Open. Go. It's my turn. Fire. Now. An opening. My turn. Huh? Now. Frost Edge. Yeah, Arc Slash. I wanted to check this out. Leave it to me. There. I can do this. Here we go. My turn. Hey! Off guard. I've got you. All right. Resists right. Earth. How do you like fire? Arcus, activate! Ha. It's my turn. Okay, now's my chance to try and deal with this. Whirlwind! To me! Now! Go! To flames! Burn! Now! An opening! I canceled the enemy arc! Too slow! Go! Well, it missed anyway. Now's a chance! Here! You're done! <laughs> the winds must be on our side. They must be, because that was a breeze. Machius uses Elliot's Emma Fee. The Here they go again. Do I actually get to play as them this time? That'd be nice. No. That's a shame. I kind of wanted to fight. I wanted to play with Fee. I want to see how she plays. She has those cool gun knives. She's forcing them to work together. That concludes today's practical exam. Next, I'll be announcing the details of this weekend's field study. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these. I hope I get to use a new party. These assignments. I have. Oh, I get fee! You said. 
I get Fee, Usus, Machia, and Emma. Okay. Berea Hard and Saint Ark. Both very well known cities here in the Empire. I can I'm gonna have to make Usus and Mar I'm gonna have to work with them. They're gonna be forced Berea to get over the themselves. Of the Kreutzen province in the east, right? They're gonna have to get over themselves. And Saint Ark is the capital of Sutherland in the south. Two provincial capitals. They seem like fair choices. Uh, I guess they are, but that's the least of our worries. Is this some kind of sick joke? Yes, in a way. Instructor, what are you trying to prove? Do you have some sort of personal vendetta against us or something? For a change, I agree with him. This is ludicrous. I refuse to accept these group allocations. Change them at once. I don't know. They seem pretty perfect from where I'm standing. I agree. Besides, you're from Berehard, so putting you in Group A was a no-brainer. <sighs> then put me in Group B! I'm not thrilled at the thought of going to St. Ark either, but it's better than gallivanting off to his hometown. Besides, everyone knows Bereahard is like a breeding ground for nobles and their dusty old ideas. The place is crawling with them. Well, I can't deny that. <laughs> Especially since that's exactly why I put you in Group A to begin with. You need to get over yourself. I'm no army officer, so I'm not about to go telling you that my orders are absolute and such. That's much too military for my liking. You're you're a teacher in a military academy! But I am your instructor, and it's my duty to look out for your best interests, which I feel is exactly what I'm doing here. So if you have any objections, then how about the two of you try to make me listen to them by force? Uh, interesting. She will mop the floor with you. You're not seriously going to... Oh, come on, don't... <laughs> Male pride is so predictable. I knew you couldn't possibly turn down an offer like that. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Gun and sword. I like that sword. Where were you keeping the sword? <laughs> what? Uh, an orbital gun and a sword? Those are terrifying looking weapons. The gun looks pretty ordinary. The sword is where I'm interested. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Reed, why don't you give them a hand? I'll take on all three of you. Okay, I see what yes, she's doing. Doctor. She's forcing them to work together. And I get to fight this chick. I guarantee she's gonna mop the floor with all of us, but you know what? I like a challenge. What a powerful aura. You know, as long as the challenge isn't bullshit. I'm looking at you, stun lockers. All right, it's time for some extreme extra credit. EXTREME! <laughs> if you think you can convince me to change your assignments, well, let's just see how well you measure up. Okay, a boss fight. All right, show me what you've got. Here we go. Hold on, let's get him motivated. All right, let's do this. All right, I'll handle this. Very well. Rapid thrust. <laughs> oh, you! Wow, one hit. This, this can't be happening. Not yet. I'm stunned. Okay. Well then. I'm not going to waste an item, because this is clearly a force-loss scenario. But, a run is no option. Well, let's just go for an art. 
I gotta hit him. I'm sorry, everyone. I mean, that was clearly a force loss battle. Uh, uh, uh. Impossible. No, it's not. She just wiped the floor with you. I knew she would. Teacher knows best. Are you okay? I had no idea she was that strong. Yeah, you probably should have. I believe she was holding back, too. Hmm. Her combat style is most unique. I couldn't even hazard a guess as to what school she represents. means yep decisions final fine by me these two idiots need to work their <laughs> shit out chalk one up for the educator group a and group b will be heading to their destinations this weekend as planned good luck everybody i'll be expecting souvenirs something from the academy thank you <laughs> well done you're adorable even when she's just reading to me it's adorable I like this girl she will be protected you hear me she will be protected I'm pointing to the microphone like you can fucking see me I don't sense anyone else on this floor. Seems like everyone's already out of their rooms. Suppose I should head down too. I get to see what their more casual clothing is, so that's nice. Morning. You two are up early. I want to make this very clear before we leave. You are my classmate. You are not my friend. We may be in the same group, but I would appreciate it if you would not address me as casually as you seem want to do. Um... Our class's vice president is as stubborn as ever. Say that again! I dare you! Oh no, you're being frickin' stubborn, and he's being a prick. You're both idiots. <sighs> I swear to God, I will lock you two in a water closet till you work your shit out. <sighs> um, good morning, everyone. Emma and Fee. Morning. Uh, um, it looks like we're all gathered, then. Shall we be leaving? We might as well. Though there's still some time before our train leaves. That's fine. I have no objections either. Uh, well, let's go. This is going to be a long weekend. I should stock up on healing items. Oh, real quick. I can see your formal wear. Again, that looks your your casual wear looks rather formal. That is adorable. I, I you know what? I'm leaving you in that. That's adorable. Gunblades. That that that's adorable. You you are wearing that. That looks extremely casual. Like... That just... Look... 
yeah, I don't know what to say else about that, but I will say this. Why the hell does a fucking fencer use a broadsword? You'd think he'd use a saber or a rapier. Yeah, I don't like confuse. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave that on you. Although, out of curiosity, what does it look like on you? Eh, yeah, it looks a lot better on... Oh yeah, I can look at your casual. Again, that looks... rather formal. Back in your school uniform, but yeah, I forgot. I wanted to leave you in the bunny ears. Okay. You do not have healing items. You aren't what I'm looking for. Maybe I can get healing items at the school union building. That's not as good as what you're using. That's... I think that is what you're using. That's... Yeah... You have healing items. Yes, you have lots of healing items. I'll take your entire stock. Thank you. Green needs more of a spine.
He made it. It's getting tedious. At least get them to a point where they can respect each other. Celtic. Probably in the episode. I will end the episode here pretty soon, honestly. Awkward. Um. He has a point there. There are all kinds of smart. It doesn't matter how many books you read or high or high I how high your IQ is. If you lack common sense or reasoning, then you're a fucking idiot. got an E on their field study. If that had been a paper exam, it would have been a fail and a low one too. Do you two really want that to happen again? Well, I hope you're not naively suggesting we just put our, our differences aside and become best friends. No! We were chosen to be class 7 because of our differences. We come from different backgrounds, so naturally we're going to have conflicting opinions and ways of looking at things. And no doubt, we all have a few beliefs that we're not willing to compromise on no matter what. Now that doesn't change the fact that for, our, for the next few days, we're all part of the same group. We're partners. I was wondering where you were getting at. You have to be joking. 
I refuse to accept an idea like I'm not saying that we have to be friends, but we're in the same group. And we're working to get toward the same objective. So sit your ass down and shut up. Let me try putting it another way. We're united against a common enemy, group B. And unless we want to lose to them, we have to work together. Green, I wouldn't have taken you for the competitive type. Of course I am. I care about winning and losing just as much as the next guy, and get just as frustrated when other people hold me back. I'm jealous of your good grades. I'm, I'm jealous of how good your grades are, for example. All three of you. I feel like I'm losing the race and have to struggle to catch up. And it's beyond frustrating when we lost against the instructor the other day. I see. There's no denying that she's strong. Incredibly strong. I just don't want... To, I just don't know what kind of experience or training she's been through to become that way. But it's a simply a fact. I just feel like if we'd have been able to work together a little better, if we'd been able to form proper combat links within one another, we may have at least even the odds. You would have. Sarah's only strong because she knows how to fight. If you would have been able to work together, you could have withstood her onslaught a little longer. You might have won, you might not have won, but you wouldn't have really lost either. See? Exactly. Lisa, Laura, and Elliot are all in the same group as the last time. And Gaius seems like the type who could work well with anyone. They'll be a strong team. Yeah, they'll be able to give their absolute best no matter what comes their way. Honestly, if we don't do something about her, our own shortcomings, their score could easily double ours. Enough! I get it already! Now, it's not like I have much of a choice but to go on along with your yay team attitude, now do I? I told you to sh sit down and shut up. You got halfway there, so shut up! Indeed, I would just prefer not to cooperate with this farce. But I have no intention of standing by and accepting defeat. So you're saying, until this trip is over, we can call a truce. We will call a truce. Agreed? Very well. The very notion of working under these circumstances is ludicrous, but I am more than capable of enduring such idiocy if I must. The same goes for me. <sighs> well, it's something. Rayhard is one of the most is the most important city in the eastern province. Its population is roughly 300,000, making it relatively large even by municipal standards. The hilly region surrounding the city is inhabited by minks, which are prized for their fur. Furthermore, the province is a, as a whole is also widely renowned for the high quality gemstones. Gems and fur regarded as Brea Hart's two main supplemacies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the religion of this is definitely seeming to follow more of Catholicism. 
That's not a criticism. It's merely an observation. Okay, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I arrive in Berea Hard, talk to these idiots, and get a rundown on what's going on. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.